Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Robert, and I have another classic camera review today, and today I'm bringing you the Leica CL. So the Leica CL was made for Leica by Minolta in the early 70s, 1973, and it is an M-mount Leica with a light meter that's relatively cheap. Uh, depending on um, the condition of these, you can get these for quite cheap. I got mine for about $200 for this guy, but there were some quirks with it, and I can get into those really easily. First of all, this is a camera made from the 70s, and with most rangefinders, if it's never had a rangefinder adjustment, it's most likely going to need one, because uh, if you don't, the basically even if you think you're in focus you're not and there could be even points where uh, your vertical focal uh, focusing point will never get into range and so that's what happened with this one so I had to get um, I had to get the uh, range finder adjusted I got uh, I fixed the the film counter on here. Um, I got it CLA so all the shutter speeds work correctly. And that's about it and now it works perfectly. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked on it on that regard. It all works perfectly now. So it originally came with a 40 millimeter Sumacron uh, but it was actually made in Japan by Minolta and you can actually find the exact same lens uh, which is like a, a Roker, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a, but it's the exact same lens. It's a 40 millimeter Roker from Minolta, but it's the same lens. And um, I've never used that lens. I actually got this just with the body, and uh, I like shooting with 50 millimeter most of the time. And so I picked up a really, really old uh, Sumacron, and I got a uh, one of the collapsible ones, which is cool because I can leave it on the camera and just go like this and. Makes it really easy to travel with. Um, and then when I want to shoot, boom, twist it, and it's back out and ready to rock. The light meter was pretty accurate. Uh, I didn't have any uh, exposure problems when I got it back, so that's a positive. Um, the build quality is good. I wouldn't say it's great. That's the one thing that I was kind of disappointed with is that, um, you know, when you think of Leica as a brand, or you think of this like really just you know amazing build quality and attention to detail and of course this was not made by Leica it was made in Japan I don't know why on uh, the Wikipedia page it says made in Portugal I have no idea why it says that but it even says on the back bottom of here uh, manufactured in Japan uh, you can't read it manufactured in Japan for lights it says on the bottom of here but um, mm. This camera is actually pretty difficult to focus with. Um, I think it's just because the the, the rangefinder patch in the viewfinder is pretty small, and so you have to do a lot of uh, uh, focus, then compose, focus, then compose, depending on your subject matter. And if you're shooting on the street, then it's kind of hard to do. So, yeah. I actually have another rangefinder, and I always talk about it in my videos, the Canon QL17, and I find that much easier to focus with this than this one. I've only had this for a couple weeks, so I may not be used to it yet, but the, uh, the Canon QL17 is super easy. So, let me get into the next thing I want to talk about with these, is that, so like I said, I got a really, really old Sumacron, and it was kind of beat up. It's not in bad shape. But you can find cleaner lenses, let's put it that way. And so altogether I paid two sixty for this lens and two hundred for the body. So four hundred and sixty dollars for a working Leica with a working uh light meter built into it. Which is good. It sounds great on paper. However, I wasn't super excited about this lens um when I got my first roll back. It wasn't that sharp. Um and, you know, when you think about getting a Leica, the main reason why you'd want to get a Leica is the lens quality. And this lens was just not that sharp. And so I would say, uh, if you are considering getting a Leica CL, and 
you could either take two paths, uh, get one uh, with the original uh, Summicron, the 40 millimeter that comes with it, and that's a pretty decent lens. But those will tend to run you around $700 or something like that. That's pretty pricey. Or you can get a Leica CL, just the body, and then get uh, either a really nice Leica lens, which will run you a thousand dollars or more, or go third party. And that's something I'm considering doing if I'm going to keep this camera, uh, is either get a M mount Zeiss lens or getting an M mount uh, Summicron, uh, not Summicron, pardon me, a Voigtlander lens, uh, because you can get those for. A, Around four to five hundred dollars, and uh, I like Zeiss lenses. I think they're extremely good, and getting an M mount one would be amazing. And it's not like those are gonna devalue very much as well. Like a fairly modern Zeiss or Voigtlander lens, even if I get it, I'm like, meh. It's still something I could sell in the future. Um, but anything else I want to say about this camera? Well, basically, what I want to say in my uh closing is that if you want to get a camera like this make sure you have mm, at least five hundred dollars to spend on a lens because if you buy just like the cheapest thing that will fit on here which is kind of what I did um, you're not gonna be getting um, your money's worth in terms of like you know you spend about 30 percent more you get an amazing setup to work with whereas me currently I have an okay setup. This is gr okay, but I would say there are far better M mount lenses to go with, and make sure you get one in good condition. And when you buy the camera, make sure that there is a way for you to be able to return it. Because if you're not, if you're buying it sight unseen, like you're getting it sent to you, because there are a ton of things to go wrong with this camera. The light meter can break. The focusing system can be off. Uh, my uh, film counter was broken so there's just a ton of things that can go wrong with this camera so make sure when you are buying it that you have a way to return it or get refunded because I wound up spending more than the, the camera body on a CLA a range finder adjustment and fixing the counter so it works now it's a total fine camera now but that was a lot of money to spend to get this guy to work. Uh, on the flip side of it, if you want to compare this to anything else s similar from Leica, that's actually a German-made Leica, uh, the closest thing you'd get is an M5. An M5, is the body alone can run you from $700 to $800. Of course, you can find beater ones for cheaper, but... Like I said, that just leads you down the same road of now I have to get the rangefinder adjusted, now I have to get the CLA to make sure my shutter speeds are correct. And so, it's a good value. The body is a good value. I'll say that. Uh, the only thing I, was, uh, I wanted to just add to that and that I previously mentioned is that if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a good lens... Uh, you should just buy the body and find a good body and wait on the lens because just getting anything that will fit is not going to be the best move for you. So I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to leave you with a couple photos. I know they're not that great. This was my first roll I got back with this and I had a little trouble uh, focusing with it because I'm just getting used to it like I said. But still some decent photos I got out of it. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll get back to you. Have a nice day.